Hey, welcome to the first and only video of my biology assignment series. In this video, we'll be going over the internal combustion engine and the electric motor and each of their pros and cons. Here, I created a PowerPoint presentation to help you visualize the point I will be going over and to give you, the viewer, a better understanding of what I'll be talking about. First is the internal combustion engine which that is a figure. And on the pro side, we have for the internal combustion engine, a higher energy density, which means that the, the fuel for the engine, which being gasoline in most inter, internal combustion engines, has a higher um, energy output per like density of the fuel. So this is why in airplanes, they choose fuel over electricity because fuel, essentially weighs less to give you the same amount of output as for an electric motor that would um, have a very heavy battery pack for the same amount of output. The next pro is proven technology. The internal combustion technology has been around for many hundred years, starting from the steam engine all the way to where it is now. So it still works, it is still very reliable, but the fuel sources are starting to dwindle, so we have to find new means of transportation via the electric motor. The next pro is it takes less time to refuel compared to an electric motor. This would take at a gas station maybe five minutes maximum, which for an electric motor would take hours on at a time. And uh, the aesthetic of the internal combustion engine is the noise that it makes, the exhaust sound, which you do not get from an electric motor. On the con side, on average, uh, to power the electric or the internal combustion engine is 12 cents per mile. That varies between hybrid cars and trucks, obviously. Um, obviously, the emissions of the car giving out CO2 and other toxic emissions. The internal combustion itself is very heavy, and also this has to be paired with a very heavy transmission. So all in all, the internal combustion engine just has more weight that does not need to be there. And the efficiency. Internal combustion engines with their fuel um, can range from about 35 to 50% efficiency, meaning that the energy it takes to move the engine is not all being driven through the vehicle. And with internal combustion engines, it's a series of internal combustions obviously so tiny explosions that are synchronized together and over time that wears down the interior of the engine so it is it does wear down quicker and maintenance and um, the internal combustion engines have awful torque curves so starting out the torque gets very little and you would have to accelerate and give it a lot of power for the torque to peak next we have the electric motor the pros being the electric motor gives off zero emissions because there is no exhaust. It has a high power to weight ratio. Overall, the motor itself weighs less than an internal combustion engine. As you can see from the figure before, this is the entire motor right there for the electric and uh, motor. It has regenerative braking, so your brake pads do not wear down as fast. And electric motors have instant torque so as soon as your foot goes on the accelerator you are achieving every bit of torque that your car has as can be seen by this torque curve the cons are electric motors are expensive because they are a new technology um, it, they are pricier than the internal combustion engines the batteries to power the electric motor are very heavy this is what I was talking about prior, prior to with the um, internal combustion engine having the higher energy density. Another con is it takes longer to recharge. So for electric motors, it would take roughly an hour to two hours for the entire battery cell to be recharged. Um, has a shorter mile range. Um, internal combustion engines have between 300 to 500 miles per fuel tank, whereas the electric motors have roughly 100 to 200. And that concludes my presentation.